So it costs only two dollars to come in and it's pretty freaking big and he said all the old stuff's way down there along the tree line good morning hey we're heading up to new ringgold today to a junkyard that's up there that's got a lot of classic cars we've got a little bit of angry skies today eh, if it rains it rains we get wet no big deal but we're gonna go up and check this place out. And a couple years ago when I was there, I would say a couple years is meaning about 20 years ago, it was a really awesome uh, junkyard. And I've talked to some people, it's still there. So we're gonna go check it out and come along. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. <laughs> We're up in the Allegheny Mountains on our way to a classic car junkyard, which the Allegheny Mountains, this is the, uh, in the valley area, it's right before you get to the Poconos. In fact, if you look, you can see all the clouds, the low hanging clouds right there are up along the ridge line of the mountains coming in. So this is the Lehigh Valley and we're gonna go check out this classic junkyard it's about nine o'clock in the morning on a Monday, and hopefully we'll be there, we're about 13 miles away. So this'll be fun, this'll be cool. Okay, so we're in New Ringgold, which is this little town in the mountains of Pennsylvania. Been here for, I would say, a couple hundred years. And we're right, I think in the center of town. where the train tracks are and we're just going to head up okay so we are at the u pull place and out front they got a little thing for cars that they have there for sale and you can get your own giant hook and ladder fire truck there for twelve thousand dollars just sitting there so if you need a hook and ladder fire truck there you go so you pull it easy pull is right in here Let's see. No littering. No littering. $500 fine for littering at the junkyard. So it costs only $2 to come in. And it's pretty freaking big and he said all the old stuff's way down there along the tree line it's only about 75 degrees and it's really nice out it's up here in the Allegheny Mountains and uh, so this will be a fun time today this will be awesome Got a lot of tractor parts. Put my glasses away here. Come on. So we got a whole a lot of tractor parts and farm parts. We pass a whole ton of farms on the way up here. And I think I was here back in like 20 five years ago maybe i want to say i was here before getting parts when i was way younger or with somebody but i don't know i don't remember but it seemed like coming up here was something i did as a kid anyway so yeah there's school buses and stuff here and parts but we're gonna make our way all the way down along the tree line to the old stuff this is a really, really cool old yard. I like how they have all the cars up on blocks. Man, look how far it goes. 
way, way over there. So we'll just come down here. I'm guessing the closer to the trees is because that's where it started and then it just works its way back. So here's like the truck section and they even have tractor trailer parts here. They even got fire truck parts here and military truck parts here. So that's pretty cool. And farm combines. So they pretty much have everything. We're still walking. It's going to take about five minutes, ten minutes to walk down here to where the old stuff is. They even have their old stuff that pick up trucks and cars with. A lot of fire truck parts here. And you can buy a fire truck right out front. Okay, all right, so we started way up there, and as I look, I could start seeing old stuff here now. So this is a giant junkyard. And this whole back area here, if you look at it, this is just a, a, a giant junkyard of old stuff from the 50s and 60s and 70s. So let's just take a look. I'm just gonna walk down here and we'll just walk around. We'll start, we're gonna start way down there and then we're just gonna come way over there because this is all newer stuff up here. So I just wanna do the older stuff here. So I will meet you I'm going to meet you right down there. So we'll start down there at that rusty, I guess, Diamond Rio or something that's down there. And then we're going to walk up and go through all this stuff. So this was worth the effort, right? This is worth driving 84 miles for from where I'm staying down in Bucks County or a thousand miles from Florida, right? So stick with me, guys. I will meet you down here. All right, so we were way down there and we are now starting the classic car and truck and old section. And look at all the crushed Volkswagens and everything, all the old crushed cars. Sad, I wonder how many GTOs, Camaros and stuff are making that wall. So we're gonna start here. All right, so the one thing I noticed just casually, because I didn't want to really look too hard at any of the cars. I was kind of looking at the ground, but um, I wanted to be surprised like you guys are. I mean, that's like the coolest thing for me is to be surprised at what we find. But this yard doesn't seem to be organized like a lot of other yards where you have your Fords and your Chevys or your 50s cars or your 60s cars. It just seems like anything that's 1970s or older is just packed up over here so it's just packed and it's not in any rhyme or reason there it doesn't appear to be to me so the first thing we're going to do is i'm just going to kind of show you what we have here all lined up and i'll just call stuff out as i see it um i wish if you guys were here and this was live you could say hey check that one out check that one out but I think there's about a thousand cars here. Um, let's see if we can find something really cool. So here's some trucks. I think that's an old diamond reel. It's got a snowplow attachment to the front. And of course you got some bugs. These are some bigger trucks, older trucks. And we do have a bunch of Volkswagen Beetles here. So you have the old Beetles, a Pinto. There's a T-Bird but a bunch of beetles. Somebody was taking something off of here, obviously. Oh, there's a wrench. Okay. And I might buy something here to put on my wall if I find something cool. 
I might buy something for the man cave for this trip. Anyway, more beetle bugs. Something 50s. Wow, that's an old, it's a little old Austin Martin or an MG midget with the roll cage in it. That thing looks that that looks like it was raised and hit rough. And we've got a Ford Mustang II. Is that a Mustang? No, that's a Nova. Is that a Nova? I don't know what that is. It looks like a Nova or an Apollo. A couple old trucks here. And then we've got El Camino. Yeah, see, they even mixed up like the Mercedes stuff is there too. And then here's a, a, a Blazer. Like, I don't know, what is that, K5? Um, blazer and some work trucks international harvester okay so it is official here's the corvair so now that we have a corvair we are now officially in a sanctioned junkyard because without the corvair you can't be there's is that was that an old rambler station wagon i don't know and this is a little Sprit, is that an MG or is that? I'm not sure with these little cars. Volkswagen van. Now that probably would be pretty cool. It even used to have the sunroof thing in it. Behind it's a cool Cadillac. A couple neat trucks. That's an old 50s. What one is that? Doesn't say. Ford T Bird. Another T Bird. Buick. Is this, is this a Buick? I don't even know what's left on it, if anything. So, nice thing is, this is actually, you can come here with tools and part, you know, pick your part. So this is a pick your part lot. All right, here's another little, one of them little uh, MGs, I think. And we got Nova. Suicide door, 50s car, big Buick. I want to say that's got to be a Dodge. Yeah, that's, a, that's either a Dodge or a Plymouth, big one. International Scout. Is that a Mercury or a Plymouth? A couple more 50s cars, Oldsmobile. Oh, no, that's a Cadillac. Okay, Cadillac. There's a Mopar. There's what's left of a Pinto, is that a Pinto wagon? Or just a Pinto, I'm not sure. So a lot of this stuff is just, oh, it's just a regular Pinto. Snowplow Ford, another Dodge was a Dart. And the highway department, this loop missed their, their vehicle. So that's from the highway department. And just look at all those crushed cars. This whole thing is surrounded by crush cars and you gotta think they're 10 cars high so i don't know what cars have been lost over the years and just crushed and put up there that's a sad thought so somebody moved these out of the way and is this a rambler or a dodge it's a dodge a tornado a couple old Station wagons. What is that? Yeah, it's a station. Is that? I don't know what kind of station wagon that is. It's not. It looks almost like a utility vehicle. It's a station wagon, definitely. But it looks like it looks like the beginning of um, SUVs. Ford LTD. So that's pretty cool. Four door. You don't see many of those. I don't know why. Avon Sales Carpet Cleaning Service. Newark. New Jersey. Hmm. I wonder if they're still in business. ES5. So their phone number was ES51975. Wonder if they're still around. Oh, there you go. Nice Mercury. Is that a Chrysler? Yeah. Chrysler right there. Torino. Is that a Torino or a Merc? I want to say it's a Torino, but no. Mercury? I don't know. Is this a Torino or a Mercury, guys? I think it's a Torino, but it could be a Mercury. 
Not sure. Just all kinds of fun stuff in here. All kinds of fun stuff. What is this? El Dorado. Yeah, it's been in better shape. And another panel van. I think this one must have caught on fire. Looks like it, or it's just really, really rusted. Okay. Yeah, so there's, the nice thing is it's a, it's cloudy today, so the sun's not beating down, so we'll be able to do a lot more walking and get a lot done. So we got an El Camino here. And this is easy to get around in a way, but um, it's also, I got to watch where I'm walking because there's all kinds of debris everywhere. So a little Chrysler, I think Olds. There's a Pontiac two-door. Yeah, Ventura. Just all kinds of stuff. What's this? Convertible LTD. It was on last on the road in 1995. Oh, here's one of those uh, Corvair. I want to say is it a Corvair or the four? But it's it had the door here. Glass is good in there. I mean, it's got the engine in the back. This would be a fun street ride. I don't see the door though. The door's missing. Monte Carlo, 73 to what, 77, something in that time frame. Man, there's a lot of cars here that could be made into something really cool. And then of course there's some that were never really cool to start with, but it's the 70s and people are starting to collect the 70s again. Look at all this stuff. Somebody made a snowplow Jeep pickup truck thing. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Oh, and we're walking down here. Doesn't seem like a lot of people have been in this section. Everybody's up there getting parts. I'm just, I think, the only tourist here today. But that's all right. Ooh, Cadillac convertible next to the step side. I th it looks like people have come and taken all the badges off of most of these cars. What is this? Is that it's a LTD or a Mercury? Oh. Pontiac right here. Here's another Ford. Is that an LTD as well? What one is that? I think that's the LTD as well. Oh, Porsche 944. Right behind it. Nice Grand Prix. Well, I don't I, when I say nice, I mean it's like a cool designed Grand Prix. Obviously, you know, that's gonna need more than just buffing out, obviously. Oh, what do we got here? So this is what is that Newport? All the trim's been taken off of this one. Don't know what it is. I know it's a Chrysler product. So, is that a Newport, guys? I know it's a Chrysler, but all the Martin stuff's taken off it. But is that the same car? Yeah, there's the same car. So this is a... See if it says anywhere on it. Doesn't have any markings, but I know it's a Chrysler product. All right, so we've got, I don't know what that is. Some of the stuff I really don't know, guys, if you do, I mean, sometimes I can read off of the, the car itself what it is if I don't know it. But it seems like somebody has come and taken all the badges off of all the cars. 
which maybe there's people that do that for a living i don't know so we'll see so this one was on the road up until 1985. is that an avante i don't think that's a vante or is it a volvo hmm I'm not sure we got El Caminos. We got a Mustang here. What was this? Is the plate still on it? Nope. Somebody has taken the VIN plate. So the VIN plate is gone. Hold on. So the VIN plate... The VIN plate on this Mustang is gone, so I don't know what it is. Um, it looks like somebody actually just cut the roof of panel off of there, but it could have been a convertible. I'm not really sure. And we'll just keep walking down here. So I like the body lines of that, even though it's missing now. The whole front roof and all is cut off. Lots of Corvairs. Here's a Corvair. There's a Corvair. So we have a whole ton of Corvairs here. And what do we got? This would be a really cool rat rod. What was this? Two-tone convertible Delta 88. So that's a two-tone convertible Delta 88 right there. Oh, another T-Bird. What is that? Pontiac. Pontiac. Some kind. Okay, there's an old 80s Regal. Couple. Old, old. 50s stuff. 50s, 40s maybe. And we've got a... Well, there you go. So you got a, an LTD. That's a Ford LTD. And that's a Mercury. Is that a Mercury? With yeah, Mercury Suicide Door Merc right there. I think that's a Merc. If not, it's a Lincoln, but I want to say that that one is probably a Merc. Is it a Lincoln? Nope, it's a Lincoln. It's got the Lincoln badge on it. So that's cool. And then we have a Cadillac. Let's see. Friday, Saturday nights. Bonus Sunday nights. Halloween something. So this was some kind of a promotional car before it died for Halloween. That's a Nova or an Apollo. A lot of stuff, like I said, I can't tell what some of it is because it's been here for a long time. And a badging is missing, but I can kind of look. Like, I don't know what that is. Like, what is that? I like the steering wheel. No clue. If you know what that is, let me know. What's this? Is this a Lincoln? Hmm. Let's see. This is a 98. 98. So that's an old, old 98 right there. Mopar. Another Mopar. A bee's nest. Or a wasp nest full of burned out Mustang 2. So the Mustang 2, which you're starting to come back, you're starting to find more. I rarely ever saw them in junkyards for a while. Now I'm starting to find them. There's your Pinto station wagon. Oldsmobile. Ford. Mustang. So notchback Mustang. Light blue, baby blue. Last on the road in 93. That's pretty sad. What do we got there? Buick. Another suicide door. Lincoln. There's just all kinds of fun stuff in this yard. 
I would say that you could come and spend the day here, but I'm here spending the day, so I guess that would be redundant. Hmm. Anyway, moving on. So we got a um got the Ford Ranchero. Big old Dodge. That'd be cool to make into a police car. And a couple of these old Ford Econoline uh, vans. And of course, another one. Oh, what is that? So it looks like we have some kind of exotic or kit car here. Is that the, that's a VW, I think. That's a VW wagon, maybe? I'm not sure. VW wagon, right? A couple 80s cars from 2016. We got a couple of the Marks. I think that's a Mark V. I think that's a Mark III. But what is this? Is this a kit car? A I would say this was some kind of a kit car. Just by looking at the dashboard, it looks like it was a kit. Oh, there's another one. What are they? What are these? Kit cars? Kit car shells? I don't know. Oh, you know, I'm wondering, is this those things that went on the Fieros? Because back... So back in the day, the Pontiac people made a Fiero, but had a body that looked like a 308 Ferrari. I can't think of what they were called, 206s or something. They made them for a while, then they got sued for copyright infringement. And I'm just wondering if that's what these bodies are. If you know what I'm talking about, put in the comments. But I'm pretty sure that that's what these are. These were plastic bodies, but you could buy them from the dealership, from Pontiac, for a while till they got sued for copyright infringement. Anyway, that's really cool. Never saw any of these in the... Or they're just kit cars, but I'm pretty sure that's what they were. So you got a hearse. Old Cadillac hearse. T-Birds. Another Delta 88. Man, there's a lot of Delta 88s in this place. What is this? It's obviously Mopar. I don't know what that one is, but that's definitely Mopar backlights. Another Corvair. I'm not even gonna start. I'm not calling out Corvairs anymore because they got a lot of Corvairs here. There's one of those little Volkswagen station wagons again. So, oh, remember the Bronco 2? Bronco 2 is kind of coming out like what the new Bronco is. It's about the same size platform. AMC Eagle, maybe? Or a Hornet. Is that an Eagle or a Hornet? Not sure. There's a T-Bird, four-door T-Bird. Convertible, oh, a Jeepster. There's a Jeepster. An Opal. I don't know if you guys remember the Opals back in the day. They were like a poor man's Corvette when they came out. That is, you can't afford a Corvette, you buy the Opal. A couple more Bronco Twos. And Another suicide door Lincoln. Ow. Yes, I just stepped on something and said ow. Alright, as we're moving along. Oh, Got to watch for deer ticks. Need to watch for the deer ticks. There's a lot of ticks down here. I found one on my sock yesterday. All right, what is this? Schmitz Motorsports. 11.58 minutes to midnight. Hang in there, babe. Derby season is almost over. So this was somebody's crash him up derby call. Hall of Horrors. So if you know anything about this car... Put it in the remarks. I'm thinking it came from Pennsylvania somewhere. Maybe New York, maybe New Jersey. But probably Pennsylvania since we're in the mountains of Pennsylvania. 
and it's probably with something local but anyway there you go here's another mopar pretty cool oh what are these cars because i love those back windows is that a nash do i, do I want to say nash is that a nash or hmm i don't know but look at that windshield that is not safety glass folks if that was safety glass it wouldn't have like the cracks like that in it wouldn't be shattered that way anyway what else we got here um here's a two-door another mopar okay trailer nope that's a pickup truck without the front motor on it or front cab on it so somebody took the cab all right and we're moving we're walking ah the dreaded ass wipe car i'm wondering let's see 2010 if it says ass wipe were spray painted on it in 2010 that means the child would be uh let's see 2010 nobody said there'd do be math it's 21 so there's an 11 year old kid attached to that car i'll bet you and that was dad's car maybe i don't know there's a story there we know there's a story there all right, so this was on the road in 2012. Now it's here. Lots of big views. Oh, we got us a duster. Or a demon. Demon, duster, duster, demon. Not much left of it. Oh, there's a 73 Chevelle right there. 73 Chevelle, two-door. Maybe a Laguna, maybe not. Then we have the Chevelle four-door and a couple old cut lifts you've got what is that a 67 68 impala there a tr7 don't see a lot of tr7s even in junkyards so i would say i've had maybe three or four total that i've seen in all the junkyards we've been walking cool station wagon another ltd this is what a 67 68 Impala, what's left of it? There's nothing left the trunk. Somebody needed the trunk and some other pieces. The Volvo with flames, which adds at least 10 horsepower. Oh, this even had Summit racing equipment on it. So we are talking factory race car right there. April. Should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one? Probably just for this one. 